Hello and welcome you all to this video myself Prashant Prajapati and in the last video under the concrete durability we saw the demonstration of RCPT machine and uh, we understand the little bit theory of RCPT and then we saw the demonstration and procedure so in this video basically we are going to see the demonstration of uh, RCMT uh, first of all you need to understand the difference between the RCPT RCMT actually there is no uh, much difference we can say uh, in RCPT the RCPT test is for six hours basically and in rcpt we consider all the samples as the same and for all the samples we run the machine for six hours whereas in rcmt what happens you treat every sample as a different sample uh, like uh, uh, there there is a table in rcmt in anti build there is a table in the table uh, it has shown that based on the current value basically when we start rcmt so in that rcmt when you switch on the machine before switching on the machine uh, previously you have to set the machine at the voltage of 30 volt and uh, after keeping on 30 volt you have to start the test and you will see initial current value and the initial temperature value so based on the initial current value there is a table given in anti build based on that initial current you have to uh, set the next voltage like uh, suppose if some uh, sample there are uh, three channel six channel kind of uh, uh, machine or variants are there so suppose there is a three channel rcmt machine so in one sample uh, the first sample will have some different uh, uh, kind of uh, resistivity we can say or the uh, quality will have different in the second it will different quality and third there will be different quality so in rcmt we consider all the sample as a different based on its initial current value so we switch on the machine we set the voltage as 30 volt and uh, based on the initial current value we set the next voltage so after uh, getting the next voltage value we are also uh, provided the duration of the test suppose uh, some sample is uh, giving you the current value lower so we will have to keep the duration of the test higher and some uh, sample is showing you the higher current value that time the duration of the test will be lower and uh, accordingly we have to set the voltage as well so these all the things will be cleared once you will see that uh, the table which is mentioned in the anti build so let's quickly understand what are the different parts and accessories which comes with the machine so please understand this is a prism and uh, this angle should be 32 from the horizontal surface and there should be some perfor perforations because when you will put this uh, prism inside the tank that tank will be filled with the NaCl solution so it, it will uh, float on the upper sides so that's why we have uh, made some perforations over there so that solution will uh, insert inside and that uh, prism will be sitting over here this is the uh, positive electrode we can say and this is a negative electrode we can say and uh, this is a connecting cable and uh, your this concrete sample so this concrete sample will be basically uh, inserted here in this like this and after inserting this concrete sample inside the tube you are supposed to tighten this uh, nut and bolt and uh, it should be tightened in such a way that uh, solution on the uh, this side <coughs> on the upper side should not mix with the solution on the lower side now after uh, doing all the setup and connection we can switch on the machine so now here we can see how we have kept this prism it is maintaining 32 degree angle and uh, negative electrode is here positive electrode is here and uh, you can see how we fitted this concrete uh, core inside this uh, rubber sleeve one thing we have to make sure that the solution on the upper side of the concrete core and the solution on the lower side of the concrete core should not mix with each other to you know prevent the shortage uh, so that's why what we can do is we can uh, apply silicon rubber on the periphery on the upper side also and on the lower side also so that it will be separated with each other properly now we can uh, see the machine setup so we will uh, show how the cable connection and all is done so here the connection is ready this is channel 1 negative connection this is positive negative and this is temperature so here we can see this is a temperature sensor inside the tank and this is positive connection this is negative connection so that is how connection is done now we will fill the solution we will start the machine so from here we will switch on the machine after switching on the machine 
here you can see that these uh, LED lights are blinking but it is blinking only in the camera when you will see from the real eye it will not blink so first you have to set the voltage at 30 here it is higher voltage so we will rotate this knob and from here we will keep it at 30 so we have connected only uh, one channel and after setting 30 volt we again restarted the machine because at the initial uh, current based on the initial current this machine will automatically tell you for what duration this test should uh, be kept on all right so here we can see uh, we are getting on first channel we have connected we are getting value as 5 milliampere and uh, initial temperature we can see here t1 is the initial temperature that is 29.75 so this is for channel 2 simultaneously it will come for channel 3 now it will come for channel 1 so it is like railway indicator it will keep uh, changing this is channel 1 so for channel 1 t1 value will be shown here t2 value be, t2 value is nothing but the last after completion of the test whatever will be the temperature in the cell that will be your t2 and here it is showing the duration for all the different channels the machine will automatically tell you for that how much uh, what is what should be the duration of the test we should keep uh, and this uh, uh, this thing we have done based on the uh, standard uh, in NT build whichever is given in the table based on that table only we have uh, uh, made this uh, arrangement here so this is uh, the uh, table we can see uh, like for 5 milli ampere like uh, we saw that for 5 milli ampere this is coming under 5 to 10 so if you get 5 to 10 milli ampere then the voltage which you have to set the ne next voltage you have to set as 60 volt and uh, possible new initial current will be near about 10 to 20 and the test we have to keep for 48 hours so on uh, 5 to 10 uh, we can see uh, the current value or the duration it has our machine has also shown that 48 hours will wait for the channel 1 now here we can see uh, this is channel 1 it is showing 48 hours right so you are not supposed to worry for the table machine will automatically take care and it will tell you right now after uh, this we can see uh, that from here we have to uh, shift this voltage to 60 volt so for by moving this uh, rotating this we have to set the machine at 60 volt because the same has been shown in the standard for 5 milli ampere so once you have set the 60 volt then what you have to do is you have to keep uh, this machine for running because you have already noted the t1 and only now you have to uh, note this t2 and that t2 either you can note it from here or you can note it from here as well because here also uh, this is initial temperature at time t is equal to 0 minutes and after suppose you after 48 hours here the time will be that will be t2 so t1 t2 you note it down and not anything is required then uh, after the temperature and uh, t1 and t2 there is nothing to record because in the formula which is explained in the anti build there you have to put uh, some variables that is t1 t2 and the xd xd is nothing but so to find xd we have to remove the sample from the tank and uh, what we have to do is we have to split in in the two part so how to split that you can put one uh, rebar or steel rod and uh, you can uh, keep this uh, sample inside the ctm jaw and after applying the force it will be split in the two part once it will split in the two part then uh, you can uh, uh, it will separated and after separated uh, separating you can see like how much you will have to spray uh, on, on its uh, internal part you will, you will have to spray silver nitrate and once you will spray silver nitrate so its color will change and you will have to measure that distance that how much penetration has been done so that uh, xd we will have to uh, put in the formula this is calculation part so in the calculation you can see there are a lot of parameters you can see this is the formula and this is very bulky formula you will have to you know put lot of variables and the uh, constants so do not uh, worry because we have already made one uh, vedantric application this is that application 
which will come along with the machine and here you can see there are, this app is also for the uh, upv for uh, rebound hammer is also it is there you can put the rebound numbers and here for vor hor vertically horizontal downward incline like that and for rcpt this app is also for the rcpt now uh, we have work in rc mt so we'll go into the rc mt and uh, we can see there are different uh, apps also and different machines also we provide so let's go into the rapid chloride migration test now in rcmt you can see here the catalog and uh, here in three channel if you go this is your application now do not worry at all for the calculation you will have to only enter one two three four five six uh, only this much uh, numbers you have to enter see this is channel 1 channel 2 and channel 3 this is channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 so for channel 1 initial temperature we recorded 21 degrees celsius final temperature let's say it was uh, near about 40 degrees celsius the voltage value we kept as 60 because we saw that the current value was 5 milli ampere something like that so the next voltage as per the table we can we set uh, 60 volt now test duration we remember that it was 45 now here you can see uh, one thing we have mentioned that this is sample thickness xd but note that the sample thickness is not xd that is penetration depth that will be xd so by mistake it is xd is here we will change we will upgrade the application here you will have to enter the sample thickness that is nothing but uh, 50 mm because the uh, size or the thickness of the uh, core was 50 mm now penetration depth is uh, your xd so here in penetration depth you are going to uh, enter the value of xd so uh, randomly we are taking like that the penetration was near about uh, 24 mm so we entered the 24 mm so these are the reading salts we entered about channel 1 now for channel 2 accordingly you, will, you can fill the readings here and for channel 3 you can fill the readings here right now once you entered all the values of channel 1 you can calculate for channel 1 also if you operated all the channel 3 you can fill all the channel 3 values and you can calculate so let's based on channel 1 let's calculate now after the calculation uh, it will give you one or uh, more than one field is empty no problem because uh, these uh, sales are uh, you know vacant that's why so on channel 1 you can see the value uh, the calculation it came 303.65 into 10 to minus 12 uh, so this is the unit you can see so that is how uh, you can see that uh, rcmt test has become very easy the calculation part has also become very easy after using this vedantric technology app so thank you for uh, watching this video for any uh, requirement you can just go to the www.vedantric.com or you can send your inquiries on sales at vedantric.com